so I'm making this video from my car I'm driving home from the computer repair shop and the reason I'm making this video now is because what I want to say is fresh in my mind all right I'm from I'm from New, New Jersey and I've never lived outside of New Jersey really I stayed in West Virginia for a year and now I'm staying in the Richmond Virginia area and a couple of weeks ago I had an apartment fire and I lost a lot of stuff and I thought I lost my computer and all right look let me go back I had an apartment fire and I lost and I lost a lot of stuff and I've had to tell this story over and over again about having a fire and what caused it and all the and how we we had to move and I tell you what there's really something different I would say something special about the people of Virginia about the people living in this area I have received I and my girlfriend Myra we have received so much stuff money cards support that it's been overwhelming all right one of my students handed me handed me a bag a hundred dollar visa gift card and two things of cat treats because my cat was in the fire and he survived and I got more gift cards from my colleagues and she got gift cards to places everywhere from her colleagues uh, cash cards she got cash you know just trying to help out I know that you've been you, you've been going through a tough time um, come over and have dinner with us kind of thing and just the, the outreach is just something that it it's so it's so genuine and sincere and overwhelming that I it's like, like, sometimes I just don't know how to take it because this really this is not something that would have happened in <laughs> New Jersey I gotta tell you um, I don't know not to really crap on the people from, of New Jersey or anything but man the, the people around here are just unbelievably giving and charitable and thankful and it's it can really be tough sometimes being a person who's not used to this the reason I'm making th th this video is because in the fire most of my computer stuff was destroyed my monitor webcam sound system keyboard uh, mouse they all melted but my hard drive and my tower survived and just now moments ago I went to a computer repair shop but it wasn't really a repair shop it was really just this guy who's been working out of his house and I go to his house and he gives me all right first of all he boots up my machine says says it works fine gives me good advice over the phone talks me through tells me what to do lives around the corner I take it to his house he plugs it in fires it up hooks everything up to it says it's fine not fine but he says it looks like it's okay this guy gives me for nothing he gives me a monitor a mouse a keyboard and all the cores I need to get my machine back home and up and running so that I can have a computer I mean I told him what happened when I called I said that my computer was in a fire and that I needed to, to, to you know go and see somebody about it and this guy he takes me into his house introduces me to his wife we go downstairs and we're doing all this computer stuff and he's making conversation like he's actually interested in what I you know what's going on with my life and in the end he gives me he just hands me all this all this free stuff 
including a monitor. And it's like, I really, I don't know. I, 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 I just don't know how to take all, 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 all this stuff. But I do have to say that the people down here is just, I mean, he's, he's, he's walking me out to my car, carrying my hard drive. I have, I'm holding the monitor that he gave me and the mouse and keyboard and I'm just astonished that, that this that this whole thing is happening. That, that that he's just giving me this stuff for free when he could charge me an arm and a leg if he if he really wanted to. And he's just and I'm trying to express this to him. I'm trying to say like why like I want to pay you something. I would can't you just bill me or something? And he just says that's just what Southern hospitality is. He says it's really something different and. It really is true because, like I said, I can't imagine anything like this happening where I come from. It's just something that's totally, that, that's so foreign to me that it makes me uncomfortable. And um, I feel like it's going to force me to be a better person and pay it forward. One of the things that he told me was, he was like, well, you, you might not be paying me now, but... But don't worry, you'll have the opportunity at some point, sometime soon, to pay it forward. He said, just just keep going to work and keep going, you know, keep at your job. And um, even if your students don't appreciate you now, one day they will. And that was particularly poignant given that recently I've been having some thoughts about whether I should even be at this school that I'm at. And it's just, it's just so funny how this stuff just kind of comes around. And I, it was so, it just struck me so much that I had to sit down and make a video about it. So that's what I wanted to say. Southern hospitality is a real thing in Richmond, Virginia. Everybody around here, it's like we're like on a some kind of a team, I feel like sometimes. And it's just a funny but great feeling and um i hope one day that you could experience this and know what i'm talking about firsthand thank you so much for watching me and have a fantastic day man